American football, a sport as rich in tradition as it is in action, has an intricate history that spans over a century. From its origins in the rough and tumble games of the mid-19th century to its modern-day status as one of the most watched sports in the United States, the evolution of American football is a compelling narrative of innovation, athleticism, and cultural significance. In this exploration of the history of American football, we embark on a journey through time, uncovering the key moments, figures, and developments that have shaped the game we know today. Early Influences, Mid-19th Century British Origins the origins of American football can be traced back to early forms of football played in England. These early versions of football primarily involved kicking a ball and varied from region to region. Variants like association football, soccer, and rugby football had their roots in these British games. College campuses In the mid-19th century, various colleges in the United States were playing their own versions of football. These games were often unregulated, unruly, and differed significantly from one institution to another. The early forms of American football were essentially a blend of rugby and soccer, often involving chaotic and sometimes violent play. Harvard-Montreal game, 1874 One pivotal moment in the formation of American football was a game played between Harvard University and McGill University from Montreal in 1874. McGill's rugby-style rules met Harvard's more soccer-oriented style of play. During this game, the two teams agreed on a set of rules that included the introduction of downs and a line of scrimmage. Downs specified the number of plays a team had to advance the ball a certain distance, while the line of scrimmage marked where each play would begin. These concepts became fundamental to modern American football. Early college rules, despite the Harvard-Montreal game's influence, college football still lacked standardized rules. Each school had its own set of regulations, leading to a lack of uniformity and increased injuries due to the sport's violent nature. Formation of Intercollegiate Football Association, 1876 The need for standardized rules and safety measures led to a meeting of representatives from several colleges in 1876. This meeting resulted in the creation of the Intercollegiate Football Association, which sought to establish consistent rules and guidelines for intercollegiate football. This period represents the chaotic and diverse origins of American football. It was a time of experimentation, adaptation, and rule development as the sport evolved from its British roots into a distinct American pastime. The introduction of downs and the line of scrimmage during the Harvard-Montreal game was a pivotal moment that laid the groundwork for the modern structure of American football. Harvard-Montreal Game, 1874 in the mid-19th century, American football was in its formative stages, and it lacked standardized rules and regulations. College football was marked by a wide variety of styles and approaches to the game, often differing significantly from one institution to another. One significant moment in the development of American football occurred in 1874 when Harvard University, one of the prominent American colleges, played a game against McGill University from Montreal, Canada. This game marked the first time that rugby-style rules met soccer-style rules in a structured competition. During this matchup, the teams faced a significant challenge in reconciling their different approaches to the game. Harvard's style was more influenced by soccer, emphasizing running with the ball and kicking, while McGill played a more rugby-oriented game, which involved more physicality, tackling, and carrying the ball in hand. To facilitate a game that both teams could play, they agreed on a set of rules that borrowed elements from each style. The outcome was a compromise that significantly influenced the future of American football. Introduction of Downs One of the most critical developments was the adoption of the concept of downs. The teams agreed that a team had a set number of downs, usually three or four, to advance the ball a specified distance, usually five yards. This introduced structure and strategy to the game and made it less chaotic. Line of scrimmage, the game also established the concept of a line of scrimmage, where each play would start. This marked a boundary, and both teams had to line up on opposite sides of this line before the ball was put into play. The line of scrimmage added order to the game and reduced the chaos that had been a hallmark of early football. These innovations brought a level of structure and strategy to the sport, setting the stage for the eventual evolution of American football. The Harvard-Montreal game is often recognized as a seminal moment in the history of the sport because it provided a foundation for the development of standardized rules and helped shape American football into a more organized and less chaotic game. Intercollegiate Football Association, 1876 
In the mid-19th century, American football was still evolving, and the sport lacked standardized rules. Each college or university had its own set of rules and regulations for the game, leading to considerable variation in how football was played. To address the lack of uniformity and concerns about safety, representatives from various colleges met in 1876. This meeting resulted in the formation of the Intercollegiate Football Association, which was established with the primary goal of creating consistent rules and guidelines for intercollegiate football. The association aimed to standardize the rules, making the game safer and more structured. Before this organization, games often devolved into chaotic, violent contests with different interpretations of the rules. One of the key decisions made by the Intercollegiate Football Association was to adopt elements from the game played during the Harvard-Montreal game of 1874. This included the concepts of downs and the line of scrimmage. Downs specified that a team had a set number of opportunities to advance the ball a specific distance, adding strategy and structure to the game. The line of scrimmage marked the point on the field where each play would begin, creating a clear boundary for the start of each play. While the Intercollegiate Football Association's early efforts did not result in an immediate, comprehensive set of standardized rules, it was a crucial step in the right direction. The association laid the groundwork for the eventual development of a unified code of rules that would guide the future of American football. Over the following decades, various football rule committees and organizations would continue to work on refining and codifying the rules of the sport. These efforts would eventually lead to the emergence of American football as we know it today, with standardized rules, safety measures, and the unique blend of strategy and physicality that characterizes the game. Introduction of the Forward Pass 1906. In the early years of American football, the game was characterized by a heavy emphasis on running and kicking. Passing the ball forward down the field was not a fundamental part of the sport. Teams primarily advanced the ball by running or by punting, kicking it. The game was often associated with mass formations, brute force, and heavy physical contact. This style of play led to numerous injuries and fatalities, raising concerns about the safety of the sport. In response to these concerns and the desire to make football a safer and more exciting game, significant rule changes were proposed. The most revolutionary change came in 1906 when the forward pass was officially introduced as a legal play. The forward pass allowed the quarterback to throw the ball forward to a teammate down the field. Prior to this change, passing was limited to lateral or backward passes, which did not contribute much to the aerial aspect of the game. The introduction of the forward pass had several transformative effects on American football. Safety, by allowing for passing, the game became less reliant on brute force, reducing the intensity of violent collisions and making it safer for players. Strategy, the forward pass introduced a new layer of strategy to the game. Teams could now use passing to outmaneuver and surprise their opponents, creating a more dynamic and unpredictable style of play. Scoring and excitement, the forward pass contributed to more exciting offensive plays, as it allowed for long throws, dramatic receptions, and exciting touchdowns. This change in the game's dynamics made it more appealing to fans. One of the key figures behind the introduction of the forward pass was President Theodore Roosevelt, who had expressed concerns about the game's violence. Under his influence, rule changes, including the legalization of the forward pass, were implemented to make football safer and more attractive to a wider audience. The forward pass was a game-changing innovation that not only improved the safety of American football but also added an entirely new dimension to the sport. It played a pivotal role in shaping the modern passing-focused style of play that characterizes American football today. The Formation of the NCAA, 1906 In the early 20th century, American football had grown in popularity at the collegiate level, but the sport faced mounting concerns, particularly related to player safety. The game was often associated with violence and injuries, prompting calls for reform. In response to these concerns and to provide a regulatory body for college athletics, the National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA, was formed in 1906. The NCAA is a nonprofit organization that oversees and regulates college sports, including American football, to this day. The creation of the NCAA was a significant milestone in the history of American football for several reasons. Safety regulations One of the primary goals of the NCAA was to implement safety regulations in football. 
This included the enforcement of rules aimed at minimizing dangerous plays and protecting players. Uniform Rules The NCAA worked to standardize and regulate the rules of college football. This standardization ensured that all member institutions followed the same set of rules, promoting consistency and fairness in the game. Officiating Standards The NCAA established officiating standards and protocols to ensure fair and consistent refereeing in football games. Eligibility Requirements the NCAA introduced eligibility requirements to maintain the amateur status of college athletes, ensuring that they played for the love of the game rather than financial incentives. The formation of the NCAA marked a turning point in the evolution of American football. The organization brought structure and order to college football, promoting safety, fairness, and a level playing field among its member institutions. The NCAA's influence expanded over the years, leading to the creation of divisions within college football, such as Division I, Division II, and Division III, each with its own rules and regulations. The NCAA also introduced postseason bowl games and the NCAA football championship, bringing a greater sense of organization and competitiveness to the sport. In addition to its role in American football, the NCAA has been instrumental in overseeing and governing college athletics as a whole, becoming a central authority in collegiate sports in the United States. Overall, the formation of the NCAA in 1906 was a crucial development in the history of American football, as it addressed concerns about player safety, established standardized rules, and laid the foundation for the modern structure of college football. It played a vital role in shaping the sport into what we recognize today, with its emphasis on safety, fairness, and amateurism in college athletics. NFL Formation, 1920 The National Football League NFL, was officially formed on August 20, 1920, in Canton, Ohio. This historic event marked the birth of what would become the premier professional football league in the United States. The NFL's formation was a result of a meeting of representatives from several professional football teams, many of which had previously played in various regional leagues and semi-professional organizations. The meeting aimed to create a single, unified professional league for American football. Several key factors contributed to the formation of the NFL. Growth of professional football In the years leading up to the formation of the NFL, professional football had been steadily growing in popularity. Teams and players were emerging across the country, and the sport was increasingly seen as a viable and entertaining profession. Desire for stability, the NFL aimed to bring stability and structure to professional football. Before its formation, professional teams often had short-lived existences, with leagues and teams frequently folding. The NFL's goal was to provide a lasting and organized league for professional football. League leadership, Jim Thorpe, a legendary athlete and Olympian, was elected as the NFL's first president. His involvement added prestige to the new league and helped attract attention and talent. The inaugural season of the NFL featured 14 teams from various regions, including cities like Akron, Canton, Dayton, and Decatur, among others. The teams often operated on a shoestring budget and played in small venues, but they laid the foundation for professional football's future success. Over the years, the NFL underwent expansion, evolution, and various challenges. It saw the addition of new franchises, the rise of iconic players and teams, and significant rule changes aimed at making the game more exciting and safe. The NFL's growth was also facilitated by the emergence of the annual championship game, which eventually became the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, starting in the 1960s, played a significant role in making the NFL one of the most watched sporting events in the United States. The NFL has evolved into a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of fans, and it is now considered the top professional football league in the world. The league has been a source of entertainment, culture, and national pride, contributing significantly to American sports and popular culture. The formation of the NFL in 1920 was a historic moment in the history of American football, as it marked the creation of a unified, organized, and enduring professional football league. The league's growth and success since its formation have made it an integral part of American sports history and culture. The T-Formation and Innovations The early 20th century saw significant innovations in American football, with the emergence of new offensive formations and strategies. One of the most groundbreaking developments during this period was the introduction of the T-Formation, which revolutionized the way the game was played. Pop Warner and the Single Wing Formation, 
Prior to the T formation, the predominant offensive formation was the single wing, which was characterized by a balanced line and a single running back positioned behind the line of scrimmage. Coach Glenn Pop Warner was a key figure in popularizing the single wing formation, known for its deceptive plays and creative ball handling. Introduction of the T formation, in the 1920s, legendary coach Clark Shaughnessy introduced the T formation at the University of Chicago. The T formation featured a quarterback positioned directly under the center, a fullback directly behind the quarterback, and two halfbacks lined up on either side, forming a T shape in the backfield. Advantages of the T formation The T formation brought several advantages to the game. Balanced attack The T formation allowed for a more balanced attack, with the potential for both running and passing plays. It provided flexibility and unpredictability, keeping opposing defenses on their toes. Passing emphasis, the T formation was instrumental in promoting passing as a significant aspect of football. The quarterback's position under center allowed for quick and efficient passing, which became a central feature of the formation. Misdirection and deception, the T formation enabled misdirection and deception in plays, making it challenging for defenses to anticipate the direction of the ball. Innovations in strategy, alongside the T formation, football coaches began to introduce more innovative offensive and defensive strategies. Coaches like Newt Rockney and Amos Alonzo Stagg played key roles in developing these strategies, with a focus on creating complex and creative plays to outsmart opponents. Introduction of the spread formation, the spread formation, another significant innovation, featured a quarterback in the shotgun position, standing several yards behind the center. The spread formation created more passing opportunities and enhanced the quarterback's field vision. Widespread adoption, the T formation and other innovations quickly gained popularity and became standard in college and professional football. These changes were embraced not only for their strategic advantages but also for their potential to make the game more entertaining for fans. Modern offenses, the T formation and its innovations laid the groundwork for the modern, pass-oriented offenses seen in football today. Passing has become a fundamental aspect of the game, and innovative play calling and offensive schemes continue to shape the sport. The era of the T formation and strategic innovations was a critical period in the evolution of American football, as it transformed the sport from its rugged and less structured origins into a more dynamic, strategic, and entertaining game. These developments paved the way for the modern style of football that combines athleticism, strategy, and excitement. AFL-NFL Merger, 1970 In 1970, a landmark moment occurred in the history of American football when the American Football League AFL, merged with the National Football League NFL, creating a single, unified professional football league in the United States. The merger was the result of several factors and negotiations between the two leagues. Rivalry and competition, the AFL was established in 1960 and had been a significant rival to the NFL, competing for both players and fans. The two leagues engaged in fierce competition, which often led to bidding wars for top talent. Expansion and growth, both leagues were experiencing expansion. The NFL had added several teams, and the AFL was growing in popularity. Expansion was seen as a way to tap into new markets and generate increased revenue. Common interests, despite their rivalry, both leagues recognized the advantages of merging. A merger would end the destructive bidding wars for players and create a stronger, more competitive league. Additionally, a unified league could negotiate better television contracts and increase the sport's overall profitability. The merger was formally agreed upon in 1966, and a four-year transition period was established. During this period, the leagues would continue to operate separately, but they would hold a common draft and an annual championship game known as the Super Bowl, which had begun in 1967. On July 9, 1970, the merger was officially completed. The NFL absorbed the AFL, and the two leagues were reorganized into the American Football Conference AFC, and the National Football Conference NFC, with each conference containing teams from both the former NFL and AFL. The result was the National Football League NFL, as we know it today, with 26 teams combined from the AFL and NFL. The league was further divided into divisions within the AFC and NFC. The NFL's championship game, the Super Bowl, continued to be played, pitting the champions of the AFC and NFC against each other. The merger was significant for several reasons. 
Creation of a Unified League The merger created a single, unified professional football league, ending the rivalry between the AFL and NFL. Super Bowl and Global Popularity The Super Bowl, initiated during the merger transition, became one of the most watched sporting events in the United States. It contributed to the global popularity of American football. Expansion and Growth The merger allowed for further expansion, including the addition of more teams, and contributed to the NFL's growth and profitability. The AFL-NFL merger marked a pivotal moment in the history of American football. It not only solidified the sport's standing as one of the most popular in the United States but also helped establish the Super Bowl as a cultural phenomenon. The unified NFL became the premier professional football league in the country and continues to thrive, with millions of fans and a significant presence in American sports culture. Super Bowl, 1967. The Super Bowl is the culmination of the professional football season in the United States and is one of the most watched sporting events worldwide. It had its beginnings in 1967 and has since become an iconic part of American culture. Origin and Background The idea for the Super Bowl came about as part of the merger agreement between the American Football League AFL, and the National Football League NFL, in 1966. As part of the merger, the two leagues agreed to play a championship game called the AFL-NFL World Championship Game, which would later be renamed the Super Bowl. First Super Bowl, Super Bowl I The inaugural Super Bowl, officially known as Super Bowl I, was played on January 15, 1967. It pitted the NFL champion Green Bay Packers, led by coach Vince Lombardi, against the AFL champion Kansas City Chiefs, coached by Hank Stram. Game Location, Super Bowl I was held at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. The game's location rotated each year between AFL and NFL cities. Result, the Green Bay Packers emerged victorious in the first Super Bowl, defeating the Kansas City Chiefs by a score of 35-10. Packers quarterback Bart Starr was named the game's most valuable player, MVP. Significance, Super Bowl I was significant for several reasons. Symbol of merger, the game symbolized the successful merger of the two rival leagues, the NFL and AFL. It marked the first time that the champions of both leagues faced off in a single championship game. Television Spectacle The game was a television spectacle, attracting millions of viewers and setting the stage for the Super Bowl's future as one of the most watched annual events in the United States. Halftime Show The Super Bowl introduced the tradition of the high-profile halftime show, with performers entertaining the audience during the break. Evolution Since the first Super Bowl, the game has evolved and expanded significantly. It became known simply as the Super Bowl, with Roman numerals used to denote each game, example, Super Bowl I, Super Bowl II, and so on. Global Phenomenon The Super Bowl has grown to become a global phenomenon, attracting viewers from around the world. It is known for its elaborate halftime shows, memorable commercials, and a festival-like atmosphere, making it a cultural event that extends beyond sports. Economic Impact the Super Bowl generates significant economic activity, with companies spending large sums on advertising, and host cities benefiting from increased tourism and business during the event. The Super Bowl continues to be one of the most anticipated and watched sporting events globally, showcasing the best of American football and featuring cultural and entertainment elements that appeal to a wide audience. It has become an integral part of American sports culture and a symbol of unity between two formerly rival leagues. The Modern Era in American Football The modern era in American football encompasses the period from the late 20th century to the present day. This era has seen significant changes and developments in the sport, both in terms of gameplay and the cultural impact of football. Passing Revolution One of the most defining characteristics of the modern era is the evolution of the passing game. Quarterbacks have become the focal point of many offenses, with the introduction of more complex passing schemes, spread formations, and a focus on high-scoring, dynamic plays. Quarterback Dominance Star quarterbacks like Joe Montana, Dan Marino, John Elway, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and many others have risen to prominence, redefining the position. Passing records have been continually broken, and the quarterback position is now central to a team's success. Offensive innovations, innovative offensive strategies, such as the West Coast offense and the spread offense, have become standard in modern football. 
Coaches like Bill Walsh and Chip Kelly have had a significant impact on offensive play calling. Defensive changes, defenses have adapted to counter the passing revolution with schemes like the zone blitz and athletic, pass-rushing linebackers. The game has become a constant battle between offensive innovation and defensive adaptation. Rule changes, rule changes, such as those aimed at protecting quarterbacks and promoting player safety, have been implemented to adapt to the evolving nature of the game. These rules have also made the game more exciting by reducing illegal contact on receivers. Super Bowl and the NFL, the Super Bowl, which began in the late 1960s, has become the culmination of the football season and an annual cultural phenomenon. The game consistently ranks as one of the most watched television broadcasts in the United States. Globalization, American football has expanded its reach globally, with the NFL playing games in London and Mexico City. The sport has gained an international following and has produced successful international players. Technology and Analytics Modern football has seen the integration of technology and analytics into the game. Teams use advanced statistics, player tracking data, and instant replay to make better strategic decisions and improve player performance. Social Impact Football has had a significant social impact, addressing issues such as concussions, player protests, and diversity in coaching and management. It has also been a unifying force, providing a sense of community and pride to fans. Economic and commercial growth, the modern era has seen the commercialization of football, with major sponsorships, lucrative television contracts, and the development of fantasy football. The NFL has grown into a multi-billion dollar industry. Challenges and concerns, the modern era has also faced challenges, including concerns about player health and safety, the ongoing debate over the 17-game season, and issues related to off-field conduct. The modern era of American football is marked by dynamic gameplay, technological advancements, social engagement, and economic growth. The sport continues to evolve, adapting to the changing interests and expectations of fans while remaining deeply ingrained in American culture. In conclusion, the history of American football is a compelling journey of evolution and innovation. From its chaotic and unregulated beginnings to its current status as a global cultural phenomenon, the sport has undergone a remarkable transformation. The roots of American football can be traced back to various ball games played on college campuses, which eventually gave rise to a unified code of rules and the creation of the NCAA. The introduction of the forward pass in 1906 revolutionized the game, adding a strategic dimension and enhancing player safety. The merger of the AFL and NFL in 1970 not only brought the two rival leagues together but also gave birth to the Super Bowl, an event that has transcended sports to become a cherished cultural spectacle. The modern era of American football has seen the rise of passing-focused offenses, the dominance of star quarterbacks, and the integration of technology and analytics into the game. American football's impact extends beyond the field, addressing social issues, promoting unity, and contributing to a multi-billion dollar industry. As we reflect on the history of American football, we see a sport that has consistently adapted to the times, balancing tradition with innovation. It has captured the hearts of millions, created legends, and fostered a sense of community that spans generations. American football remains a testament to the spirit of competition, teamwork, and the enduring love for a game that continues to shape the American experience.